Hey guys, Andy here from Traffic Strength Trainer. Just wanted to answer one of the questions I've had via the website uh, today. One of the lads was asking about uh, some training with the TRX and some exercises to do with that. Basically what I've got here is the Jungle Gym, which is uh, what a, uh, same, basic, same basic thing as the TRX, but actually from Lifeline USA. Um, all the sort of suspension training stuff like the straps, they all do the basic same thing. Um, so you, what I'm going to show you here, you can do it with absolutely any of them. Basically all I'm going to do, I won't show you a full workout, but I'll show you two pushing progressions, two pulling exercises, two legs based ones and two core based ones as well. So we've got eight exercises. They're all dead simple and it's really easy if you just sort of bang these into a uh, into a circuit. You could use the things I'm going to show you here would be ideal in kind of a, a conditioning phase uh, within within your triathlete strength and conditioning training. Okay, so we'll start off having a look at the, the legs based exercises. For this I'm just going to show you the basic single leg squat. All right, and then I'll do a little jumping squat as well. So for your single leg squat, you probably want to kick off using both straps. Tall posture, standing on the one leg, okay? All we're doing from here is dropping down as low as you can while maintaining your posture. Big squeeze up through your ass and thigh, straight up to the top, and then we hit the next rep as well. Again, only as low, go as low as your posture and your strength will let you. If you can only, say, get to here before your posture starts to go or you just can't push yourself up, then that's the range you start with, okay? If you can get your ass to the grass, get your ass to the grass, okay? So that's your first uh, progression. I generally like to work in sets of anything between eight and sort of 16, depending on the, the ability of the triathlete as well. Your next legs based exercise is more of an explosive one, but it's actually kind of a, a jump squat, um, but it's sort of an assisted one, I guess. So with the straps, again, that big posture, drop down nice and deep, explode up, straight into the next rep. Again, as low as your, your, um, your flexibility will actually ena enable you to go. So again, if you're sort of getting down to, to here on the face and then your back starts to crumble uh, you, and you're losing your posture, only go down to sort of like just, just about the point before that happens. So if it needs to be that you only get to there, then again, just only go to there. Okay, so that's two very basic legs-based exercises that you can bang out with the, uh, with the straps. <laughs> We'll just check out a couple of the pulling progressions as well. So the first one you're going to look at is actually a, um, it's a great one for strengthening ev pretty much everything on the back, as well as getting your ass switched on and actually opening up the hips as well. It's just your recline pull, kind of like a reverse push-up. So for this, <coughs> big posture, dig your heels in the floor, chest big, shoulders back. Get those hips right up there. A nice one for actually sort of helping to counteract the, uh, your cycling posture. And from there, all we're doing, pull yourself up nice and high, back down through, straight back up again. That's your recline row. Okay, if you want to make it a bit tougher, palms facing forwards. And as you come up, get your hands a little bit further away from your body. Okay, so up and across. If you want to smash the guns a little bit more, as you're coming up, turn the palms inwards, and you finally get a bit more work through there that way as well. That's your recline row. If you can't get right down that load to start off with, all you need to do is just take a step back, and again, exact same basic principles. Hips nice and high, chest big, shoulders back, pulling yourself up. And you can get just about anyone doing those, not a problem. Next one we'll have a look at is your pull-up. It's pretty much just your basic pull-up, um, but I'll show you a way you can do it if, if you sort of perhaps haven't got the strength just yet. So all we're going with from here, tall posture again. Drop yourself right down there. Straight up, back down through. Okay, you'll find that your abs and your whole core here has to make sure it's kind of locked on pretty tight as well. Um, you'll find that should just do it naturally, but if it's not, just really make sure you're engaging that. Really important to make sure you keep your shoulders sort of down and back as well, as opposed to letting yourself hunch up. Now, if you're not quite strong enough to bang those out yet, just set the straps there so they're in sort of like how you'd expect to finish a standard pull-up, so kind of about the shoulders from there. Drop yourself down, tall posture, feet flat on the floor. You want your ass just straight below your shoulders. And all you're doing from there is just taking a bit of the weight through the legs. Pull yourself up nice and tall, back down through. Again, making sure you've got your abs nice and bulletproof. Okay, very quickly again, we'll just have a look at a couple of pushing progressions. All right, so I'll just show you two different types of push-up. The first one is just your basic push-up. Okay, so from here, tall posture. Absolute bulletproof core. Try not to let the straps rest on your forearm. You want just a little bit of a gap through there. Again, nice tall posture. Drop down through, rock solid core. 
drive up tool. That's your basic push up into there. Really, really good exercise. Not only for obviously training the, the, the pecs and the triceps and the shoulders, but also giving you a great, you know, fantastic workout through the core there. Um, while also providing quite a lot of shoulder stability work, which is obviously pretty necessary for within, within the swim. Okay, if we want to make those a little bit easier, kind of like the row, just change your, change your position you're starting. Up here is nice and easy, okay? You know, anyone can bang those out. But again, make sure we keep the core control. Now, the next one is the lockout push-up. These are pretty devastating. A really good thing to work on the actual um, hip to opposite shoulder relationship, this one. All we're doing here is you're only using one of the straps. So from that position there, I've got one on the floor, one on the straps. To start off with, we can just drop down and up. That's your very basic one, into there. But if we want to make it a bit harder, we drop down as we come up, hand off the floor, back down through. So up, hand off the floor. Try and make sure we keep the hips and shoulders as parallel to the floor as you can. Really, really hard exercise. You can see how sort of hard my shoulders actually having to work to stabilize the joint there. Okay, so we'll just check out a couple of really basic core ones as well. One of my favorites here in particular for working on the um, sort of swim specific core strength is just kind of like a roll out from this position here, tall posture again. All we're gonna do, straighten your arms out above your head, lock in tight, back down through. Just about a 90 degree um, sort of range of motion there. So straight out, back through. Straight out, back through. Okay, nice, easy exercise. Well, not easy, but a very simple exercise to actually sort of get all this switched on. And again, you get a good sort of bit of um, sort of shoulder strength and stability work in there as well. If we want to crank it up a notch, then, provided you've got something which you can actually um, attach the straps onto your feet, we can actually go into some tuck work. And these are, uh, these are pretty devastating, to be fair. So all we go with here, foot in the strap, foot in the other strap, full push-up position, bulletproof core again, and all we're doing here, pulling in, straight out, in and out, in and out, rock solid position. If you want to mix that up a bit, we can get some running action in there, quite a nice one again, and if you want to sort of get a bit of strength base work in there as well, you've got sort of like the atomic push-up, okay? So drop down, up, and tuck at the same time. Great exercise. <laughs> okay, cool, so that's it for today. You've had two legs, two pull, two push, and two core. Eight exercises. Again, you can just bash those all into a circuit, dead simple. Really, really sort of good workout for in the sort of um, basic kind of conditioning phase of your, of your actual uh, triathlete specific strength conditioning. Look forward to seeing you soon. I'll hit you back very, very shortly. Take care, bye-bye.